Scorpios, what's up, you all? It's Mommy Wata. It's about to be Scorpio season. And I heard Scorpio. Let's see what Scorpio got going on. So let's see. <laughs> Holy Spirit. I think I want to start with, let's get a message from the universe, okay? For my Scorpios, let's just see what it's looking like coming into your season. Let's see what the Holy Spirit would like for you all to know at this time. Holy Spirit, I come to you on behalf of my Scorpio collective. Please and thank you. What is the collective message from the universe for my Scorpios who are listening at this time? Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like for them to know? What is the message from the universe for my Scorpios? One more shuffle. And let's see. Message from the universe for my Scorpios. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for my Scorpio collective to know? Message. Ooh. You will only see the way by making the way. Okay? So let's see what the book has to say about that. You will only see the way by making the way. There are no more well-marked trails to travel anymore. All institutions, organizations, and establishments are in a state of creative destruction. The safe route or the right way to build your life, your resume, your business is over and done. If you've received this card, it's time now for you to walk the pathless path, leading with love. Rejoice. What a time and space to be alive, taking part in nudging forward the next era of evolving human consciousness. You volunteer to be a torchbearer, leaving guideposts for others as you move ahead with joy as your GPS. You can see the way only by making the way, okay? And it says, cosmic checkbox, get lost on purpose. Turn off your phone and simply allow yourself to wander in a new area freely, okay, Scorpio? So that may be something you want to do, like have a adventure day where you just go out and you turn off your phone and you just see what life has to offer you. And you don't have anything distracting you, okay? So let's see what the tarot message is. But it's time for y'all to make your own way. If you want things to happen a certain way, you have to make it happen that way. You don't wait on anyone to make it happen for you, okay? I'm getting that vibe. It's y'all season, so... It's y'all world, whatever y'all want. 333 three, three on the phone, Scorpios. You can have it. Cut the deck on the four of wands. And the six of wands is on the bottom. It's y'all time. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants y'all to know through the tarot. Holy Spirit, what insight, further insight and guidance do you have for my Scorpios during their season? The time is now for them to make a way, make it happen their way. We have the Hierophant. You have all of the tools that you need to be in the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you all possibly were dealing with some Five of Pentacles energies recently because of some deceit, to some deception. Trusting people who did not have your best intention at heart. But I feel like with this Hierophant energy that you've learned the lessons needed to learn about who you can trust to make a way for yourself. And that's y'all, okay? I trust me, Pimp C, okay? Ikoye Ma, okay? It's on my arm. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's really giving I trust me energy. Y'all are going to pull back because... Trusting others to help you make a way, 
help you see what it is has only caused loss and lack in your life. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Okay, Scorpios? And I'm feeling some of your energy, your resentment about how things have went down lately. But God is saying that it's time to celebrate. It's time to come up out of this spiritual entrapment that you may have been stuck in as a result of these five of pentacles, seven of swords energies, and the will of fortune is now in y'all favor. Right on time, honey. For y'all season, baby, I'm picking up. I mean, we got the ten of pentacles, the will of fortune, the nine of cups, the knight of cups, justice, okay? Your future is bright, baby, with this ten of cups, Scorpios, okay? <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. You have learned what you need to learn about people. Most recently, I'm picking up. People have really showed y'all their true face. And now you know right on time for your birthday season that whatever you want, it can be. But it's up to you to make it happen. It's time to stop trusting other people to be solid, be loyal, okay? And that energy that you've been given to others, hoping that they will return it, y'all are about to put it into yourselves. Y'all are really going to be sitting in this Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups energy. Like you ain't going to be giving and accepting offers from everyone, you know, because you know it's some slickness with it. The Past has taught y'all well, Scorpios, okay? Y'all gonna be very happy sitting and living and doing and being how you wanna live, do and be without anybody's input or say so, okay? You gonna enjoy all them cups by yourself if you want to and you don't care what anybody gotta say about it because you are having justice doing this, making the way, you, you, you lighting the torch and you leading the way in your own life is going to ensure that you have a Ten of Cups future, okay? We had the Page of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, and then I see the Queen of Cups, Scorpios. This is y'all energy, but I feel like this Queen of Cups energy talks about the softer side of yourself, that you're going to start putting more love and attention into yourself. I'm picking up self-care heavy off of my Scorpios. Y'all ain't pressed anymore. Y'all was pressed. Okay, with this nine of wands here, y'all were pressed. Maybe a queen of swords energy had you pressed or a king of wands energy might have had some of y'all going through it. Okay, I'm picking up on two different energies here, situations. A masculine and a feminine, depending on who you are. Masculine and feminine, Scorpio. But there were two opposing forces in your life. Whether you were who whether they were a masculine or a feminine, who did have y'all in the nine of wands that y'all did care for. And a lot of that loving nature, that loving, nurturing feeling that you have for these people, y'all are about to put it into yourself. What else for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit? We have temperance. Many of y'all may have walked away from these people already recently. Something happened recently here with this Nine of Wands falling up under the Five of Pentacles, okay? And this Queen of Swords falling right up underneath this Seven of Swords and this King of Wands falling right up underneath these this Four of Pentacles child. Something just recently happened with my Scorpios trusting people, hoping that they were going to help them make a way and have their back. And they didn't got y'all didn't got burned by them. So I feel like y'all have balanced y'all lives. We got we got this is temperance is Sagittarius energy, but it's also Libra energy to me because it's about balancing things. It, it's very similar to the justice card and that's out here for y'all twice. 
So whatever may have been thrown off kilter by these, by being with these people and trusting them, it's going to get back right, okay? Things are getting reacclimated in y'all lives. 1010 on the phone. And look, the world came out here, okay? There is a transformation occurring for my Scorpios. What happened here with these other energies, Holy Spirit? Some type of mistrust occurred. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Four of Swords. Y'all realize that the people that you were hoping would help you make a way were actually causing blockages for you. They were actually working against y'all, Scorpios. People you would have done anything for, I'm hearing. These people... Some of these people would try to take y'all out even. I'm getting with that with this four of swords. Y'all have y'all had to recover from the level of stress and blockages and battles that you had to face against this queen of swords and this king of wands, okay? So y'all tired. Y'all, y'all fed up, you tired, you stressed out. You're angry a little bit, but all of these emotions, y'all are using it to alchemize a better future for yourself, okay? And the way that you are alchemizing a better future for yourself is by walking away from what doesn't serve you, Scorpios. Y'all have transmuted that energy, that negativity into something positive for yourself. And the way that y'all did that was deciding that I'm going to make my own way. You see that girl, that person, it could be a feminine, one of y'all, okay, holding that walking stick. She's making her own way. And this is why y'all are going to be abundant for Scorpio season. For y'all birthday season, I'm really picking up on a lot of good fortune, okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We are to see the Ten of Cups out here, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, and now we got the Four of Wands, okay? Y'all definitely are about to be in some celebratory energy for your birthday season, and it's because you walked away from what no longer served you, and you decided to make a way for yourself. Stop wait, Stop depending on people to be solid. It's something about loyalty, okay, and people actually standing on who they say they are their actions have not shown y'all that a lot of these same people that you depended to stand on their word and be stand up energies they cause a lot of chaos and conflict in y'all lives clarify this five of wands card holy spirit people that y'all thought y'all could trust we have the four of cups and y'all realize now uh-uh I'm going to hold back some of this love for myself and I'm going to stop accepting love and it's not even love. That's what y'all realize. It's not even love. 1331 on the phone. Clarify this four of cups, king of cups. Y'all thought it was love. Y'all thought that these people really fuck with y'all like y'all fuck with them Scorpios. But see what when God what what He removed blah, 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 okay <laughs> because I think it's been a struggle for y'all to let go and accept that these people that y'all have loved and cared for didn't mean y'all no good. But when God removes people out of our lives, He will replace them with something better, someone better. That's what I'm hearing, Scorpios. Fourteen, fourteen on the phone. It's very heartbreaking to know that people that you stuck your neck you stuck your neck out for did not intentionally want to stick their neck out for y'all. They actually tried to make shit harder for y'all. But God is going to replace them with someone even better. Okay? With this Ace of Wands energy, 1441 on the phone. Someone that you can truly be at peace with. Someone that you can celebrate 
during your birthday season with. I'm getting that y'all are not going to be alone if you recently have disconnected from a Queen of Swords or a King of Wands energy. Just know that you will not be alone for your birthday, Scorpios, okay? There may be someone from your past that you will reconnect with, okay, with this Six of Cups here. We went from the Ace of Wands to the Three of Cups to the Six of Cups. Y'all definitely will not be lonely during your birthday season because when you remove what did not serve you, God, like I'm telling you, like I just said, God is going is replacing it with someone even better. And this is someone that you have fond memories of. Someone that you've known for a long time that you possibly disconnected from at one point. This person is going to return back in, into your life. I think they, I just saw the Knight of, Cup, Knight of Pentacles, excuse me. This Six of Cups energy that's returning to my Scorpios, this person has seen the betrayal from afar. They've seen the betrayal and the, des the deceit against you from afar, okay? And I feel like this person may reach out to y'all. It's something that y'all went through that people know about, you know, maybe within your community, but it's not like a secret. Some people know what y'all have went through as far as this level of distrust, this five of pentacles, seven of swords, four of pentacles energy that y'all experience. Some type of distrust, deceit, and betrayal happened, and it did cause a, a loss for y'all. And whoever this six of cups is, they saw what you went through from a distance. And I feel like this is, is look, this is going to catapult them to want to reconnect with you even more. I feel like this made their heart surge for you, Scorpios, because they saw this injustice that was occurring. And now that you've taken the step to walk away from what didn't serve you, to free yourself from that spiritual entrapment, this person may feel comfortable with coming in and setting the record straight between y'all because there's some kind of disconnect happening with y'all, okay? But I do feel like they, they're they wanting to balance things. It's something about you deciding to see it your way, do it your way, make it happen your way, Stop worrying about who wasn't on board with you or being loyal to you. You start being loyal to yourself. There's something with this judgment, this judgment energy here, your decision to make a way for yourself and cut off anyone who was working against you instead of helping you. Okay, because it's something like that here. I'm really picking up off of y'all that if you look up, look out for somebody, if you go hard for somebody, Scorpios, y'all really do expect that loyalty in return. And y'all really were not getting that from these people that y'all were showing love to. But you were sacrificing yourself. But you have decided to stop being the sacrifice. And this is why y'all are getting a rebirth. I'm telling you, just in time for your birthday. You gave it up just in time for your birthday and y'all gonna be sitting in the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Mm. And I'm telling y'all, whoever this Six of Cups is, who is this Six of Cups, Holy Spirit? This is Ace of Cups. Ooh, child, look what they came out. The lovers. This is someone that you are currently disconnected from, but I'm really picking up that... This season, this birthday season, y'all season, y'all are going to reconnect with someone who you once considered to be an ideal love choice. This is someone that you do love and care for. And I'm telling y'all, they have witnessed from afar whatever you've been going through. And it has made this person love and care for y'all even more because they see the injustice that y'all experienced. They see how people did y'all wrong. They ain't like that shit, Scorpios, okay? Any final messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit? We have the Six of Swords. Continue to move on to calmer waters. The Six of Swords is a recovery card. It's a recovery card. You, 
you went through some shit and you know that you're going to have to leave that back there and move on and restart and refuel yourself elsewhere. You ain't looking back. You're looking ahead at what life has to offer you now. And that's the energy that a lot of y'all are in. Y'all are moving quickly. Y'all are making some very bold and erratic changes that people are not going to understand. And it's not for them to understand. Your intuition has shown you all that y'all need to know about these people, places, and things in your life, Scorpios. And y'all about to go some folk, okay? Because y'all done got some insight an indication about who truly has your back. And the only person that y'all know for a fact that's going to have y'all back is y'all. Okay? It's really given. I trust me. Y'all trust y'all selves to make a way for y'all selves. And this, this new thought, this new train of thought, this new behavior is why you're going to be in such blessed energy for your birthday season. Okay? So I'm going to end it here, Scorpios. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. 2121 on the phone. And I'll be back soon with another one for y'all. Peace and happy birthday.